This React Native tutorial shows how to build video conference into your app with Zego Cloud. To embed video conference feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zego Cloud pre-built UI kit SDK into your app. Then users start voice, video, or text chat through Zego Cloud real-time network. It's that simple. Now, we are in a React Native environment. Let's enter the command to create a new project. This may take a few minutes. Then enter the command to run the new project's default app. Okay, you have built the app successfully. Next, we're starting to add dependencies. Firstly, open the package.json. Then copy codes in there like this. Secondly, we will install the dependencies. Enter yarn install on the terminal to download the dependencies. If we run an iOS device, we need to enter cdios and pod install like this. Wait for the download. Okay, it's already installed. Now create a file called homepage. Here, we need to generate a random user ID, a random conference ID, or use one from your account system. Then open the app.js file to modify the default code. Then we are going to implement a video conference page. Name the file video conference page and add these codes. And open the app.js file again, modify the default code. Next we will use the Zego UI Kit pre-built video conference component in your project. First of all you can import the SDK like this. Next we get the random ID from the home page, where we set before. After that you need to enter your app ID and app sign. I will show you how to find them in Zego Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project. And then click the edit button. Okay. You can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Now back to here, we keep going on. In our test program, you can use the user ID and username passed from the home page directly. If you have your own user account system, you also can use them. Similarly, use the conference ID passed from home page or customize the conference ID. It all depends on your business. Now, let's keep finishing all the code for this step. Okay, here we are. For the second main step, we are going to help you configure your project for Android and iOS. Let's see how Android works. Firstly, we need to add app permissions. Continuously open the Android SRC main Android manifest and add the following code, just like this. Secondly, we need to prevent obfuscation of the SDK public class names. So, open the Android app ProGuard rules.pro and add the following code as shown. That is the part for Android. And we keep adding iOS permissions. Open the info.plist file in the iOS folder. Add the following code to the dict part. This is the part for iOS. Okay. Now you have finished all the steps. Let's see how it works. You can run and test your app on your device. Video conference can now be used in your app. And that is all for integrating the conference kit and building conference features in React Native. Let's get started.